We have a new memory verse for this Genesis series, and like usual, I've put it to music, and so we're going to try and sing it today. But I really want you to listen hard in the sermon today, because the passage from the sermon today is where this verse comes from, okay? So be listening closely for that. But we're going to sing this through together, but I've broken it up a little bit, so I'm going to talk it through with you first. So we're going to sing first. God sent me ahead of you to establish you as a remnant. There's a lot of words, big words there, aren't there? We're going to try and sing them like that. Ready? Can you say it with me? God sent me ahead of you to establish you as a remnant. Okay, next bit is, within the land then to keep you alive by a great deliverance. Within a land and to keep you alive by a great deliverance. Next bit. Therefore, it was not you who sent me here, but God. Therefore, it was not you who sent me here, but God. Genesis 45, 7 and 8. Genesis 45, 7 and and eight. And then in the middle, I want you to do like a little sea shanty jig dancing. You should see the faces that I'm getting at the front now. It's amazing. Okay, you guys stand up with us. And uh, please welcome the band, the Cannonballs, who are accompanying me today. Yeah, let's just talk through the words again while the violins have some uh, technical tuning going on. Ready? Speak it through me. God sent me ahead of you to establish you as a remnant within the land and to keep you alive by a great deliverance. Therefore, it was not you who sent me here, but God. Genesis 45, 7 and eight, then dance. Oh, there's some movement happening. This is good. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. God sent me and end of you to establish you as a remnant within the land and to keep you alive by a great deliverance. For it was not you who sent me here, but God. Genesis 45, 7 and 8. God sent me a hand of you to establish you as a remnant within the land and to keep you alive by a great deliverance. Lord God, thank you so much for your word. Thank you that we can have it in our heads and in our hearts. Please help us to remember this memory verse that reminds us of your good promises to us and how you have all things in your hands. Amen.